Right. Last no pack. points for me. Just watch me be the one to get a pull after all of it, too. That's nice lit Leo art. That's really nice. That's a nice Flaffy art. Reverse hollow Flaffy. Oh, wow. Oh, holy shit. Ooh, and we got the... Welcome back to Double XP. My name is James. And I'm Ulysses. And today we are bringing you uh, Evolving Skies, the other time we did Evolution, the Japanese version. So give us a like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more Pokemon, more Dragon Ball, or if there's any other like type of card that you want us to open up, we'll, we might do a little research and get into that as well. So, we'll let, so let us know. Yeah, so uh, we're going to get into this and start busting it open because there's actually a bit to unpack here. And uh, since these are the first ones, we will show off the, the sleeves and all the goodies. So of all these guys, ETBs. Yes. Um, we had some pretty good luck from that first booster box. If you watched uh, your list. list, he got one of his alternate arts. So and one of the ones he really wanted. I'll show you on the card list what I'm looking for right here. Umbreon VMAX alternate art and the Rayquaza VMAX. The Secret Rare, Rainbow Rare Rayquaza VMAX is also one that I, I would also like. And the Gyarados, that's very nice. But yeah. And I don't have any evolving skies, so I just want him to get whatever he wants to get. But I would sort of like to pull it, because I like that feeling. Likes and it. I still owe something for that Charizard, bro. I gotta open something for him that's like devastating. Didn't open. That I didn't open. Yeah. <laughs> I usually don't mind if other people, if Jimmy, well, it's just Jimmy. <laughs> if Jimmy opens up something good for me. Card dividers, now that my collection is getting so huge, I'm using bulk boxes and card dividers, Energy, and yeah. this, this is more useful than the card so. dividers. You got your code card. Put the whole box there. Pretty sure no one's taking our code card, so I'm gonna use it soon. <laughs> None of you guys take it. You got sleeves. There's gotta be one or two or like three little guys out there <laughs> who noticed us, and they just come and collect all the code cards. Like, well, you know, no one's watching. I would. And the cards. Look at that. Look at that. The storage box is beautiful too. It's got this like shallow, shiny hollow on it. Yeah, you can see it with my light. That's actually one of the nicer ETBs. This whole ETB is just yeah. evolving skies, everything. Espeon, Sylveon, Glaceon, Vaporeon. I didn't get the one with the Umbreon, Leafeon. These were the only ones that came. So it the is leftover. apparently an eight pack ETB, not a 10. I didn't know. Eight. Correct. Just like uh, Voltus off to the. I got don't got enough space here. <laughs> Give me a second. And um, we're opening Pokemon on Dragon Ball mats. I'm just a Dragon Ball boy now, so that's my excuse. Uh, <laughs> Yuli just only has the one mat, and it looks really dope anyway. Yeah, so. I might get a Pokemon mat later on. I'm not sure if it's up first or after, but we do have Dragon Ball Super 2021 special anniversary boxes. So those are gonna oh, be Oh no, open. I did that all wrong. Okay, there's a code card. You guys already know. <laughs> Pretty sure it's four, four again. Yes, sir. All right, let's find some alternate arts. Let's find, that's what we're looking for. Oh, that gold card, God dang it. I actually really love the gold card. I already know I got nothing out of this one. <laughs> I showed the wrong side. I don't know nothing. There's possibilities, but we get Tropius non hollow at that. Oh, no, I got I also got a pincer non hollow. I guess I better pull my reverse just in case. You never know what it comes down to on the card review for it. Oh, just because you might need the yeah, you might need the reverses. Yeah, you never know. Code card. Got it, oh, son. Man. Come on, boy. I literally just cut my nails. I couldn't pull cards off the counter at the card shop. I don't the know. They might be dirty. Yeah. I didn't even check. Mine are pretty cut, too. Oh. Yeah, mine are gone, dude. Here, bro. I got you. I got you. Get, you ready, get, guys? Yeah. You ready? See? You ready? I probably don't got it. Ooh, there you go. First <laughs> one open. Yeah, see, some of them open so easy. All right. Go about yours. Show the people. Avulag. Vigorous Tentacool, little Pikachu, C dot, Lilipup, Gone, 
Altaria, and we got okay. Umbreon V. All right. Okay. That's a pretty good, like, what, Ultra Rare or whatever those are called in Pokemon. I'm so hard now. It's been so while, but yeah, it's nice. It's nice. So you up there. That's it right nice now. V. And Suicune V. Oh. I don't even think you got that yet. That, so. I love Suicune. Yeah, that's Suicune. my favorite dog, bro. That's beautiful, too. It's just so yeah, much more majestic nice. than the other dogs. Take a look at it. Look at that. Sweet Kung V. Nice little double pull there. <laughs> Bro, I'm so sad I've been buying all Dragon Ball because of this set. It really does make me want to go <laughs> empty the bank account. Yeah, once I... I always knew I wanted the Evolutions and Rayquaza on top of that in a set. I always knew too, but I've been so distracted by Dragon Ball. So it's like, it worked <laughs> out. I don't know. So Although... Far. Yesterday was so sad because I spent like three or four hundred bucks on all these good blue Dragon Ball cards. I went to play my deck as I built it, and the very first game I realized it's not viable. I don't have enough early game, and if I don't get two specific cards, the whole thing goes to crap. Terrible. Yep. Apton. Vaporeon V Max. Vaporeon V Max. There we go. There so you go. You gotta have something in your box coming. Something soon. That's a beautiful one too. This one, this one's a hitter right here, hopefully. And then to top it off, I couldn't play that deck I decided. So I'm just like, oh crap, this isn't viable. I'm going back to Bardock. And Bardock, I use the crappy Dragon Ball Super Sleeves on that stick together. So I'm sitting there with my cut nails and <laughs> I can't pull my cards off the table. It's terrible. <laughs> it was sad. Today is a better day. And maybe hopefully, uh, in the near future, I will be getting the 25th anniversary boxes. Yeah, Rigid, bro. Rigid I, Drago. I saw that there are some of the English uh, Pokemon Center ones and stuff available on TCG Player, but bro, they're being like, they're like 100 bucks for the ETV or something. It's 200 It's, it's for an insane else. price for everything right now. Yeah, it's crazy. It's like right back to when we started in March all over again for that, bro. It's like, just, I don't know, it's nuts. I get it. I get it. You got it, my friend. I believe in myself. No, not really, though. You can use assist assistance again. Woo! <laughs> That's one way to do it. <laughs> well, we know we got nothing. Yeah. So let's uh, see what the nothing is, I guess. Okay. Hopefully, I didn't get nothing. Let's, let's go. Let's go. Good, good pull. Good pull. Good pull coming here. And the Sharpedo non hollow. Really don't understand why they don't just do pool tabs like Dragon Ball Super. I mean, for some reason, I think these are a lot simpler to open. Why well, they just usually don't open is a problem. You're down to our last three packs. And I'm going to skip ahead of Jimmy here. I, have, I just can't open these, bro. They don't, oh, oh, there we go. And I don't want to break the cards inside. Drampa. Wow. Last two. Only really one pull with the Umbreon. Yeah, your last two, you gotta have something good now. Otherwise, you gotta bust it ETV. Busted ETV. That, that definitely happens with ETV, so it does a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's happened to us more than once already where. But honestly, whether you planned it or not, that's why mentally you bought for it. You knew. <laughs> you knew. That's how you do the TV. Nuzleaf. Now Come on, baby. Some good. Some good. And. Oh, wow. No. Gorgist. What are they doing to my boy? They made, I didn't even know they made a gourd out of a Pokemon. What are they doing to my boy? Nothing last pack for both of us. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see, bro. Team James gonna walk away with this one. He's gonna. Team James might get the dub. Had the hands on easy TV. See, look, some of them open so easy. I just don't get it. Dub City. Right. Last no pack. points for me. Just watch me be the one to get a pull after all of it too. That's nice, Litleo art. That's really nice. 
That's a nice flashy art. Reverse hollow flabby. Oh, wow. Oh. Holy shit. Ooh. And we got the frost gold. Ooh, yeah, that's the gold secret rare, bro. How? This ETB. I got <laughs> apple ton again. <laughs> bro, imagine being the kid who only gets to buy one ETB and you get that one. This is pretty much all I got, guys. And then Ulysses buys four and he gets to this one. That's a That is a gorgeous card, oh, though. Oh, here, you want to keep it real quick? Yeah, that's your first gold card, isn't it? I believe uh, yeah, my, first is my first gold card, card I pulled was the Battle Styles Rapid Energy or whatever. I actually really yeah. love the way it looks, but it's oh like a twenty dollar card. Oh my gosh! Yeah, Secret Rare two twenty six out of two hundred three. Yeah, that is a pool. I felt it too. That's why I said, "Watch me be the one to pull something on the last pack." I just felt it, bro. I felt it. Well, you know, you guys don't need to tell us who won. Yeah, Team James ran away with this one. I'm just gonna show off my little few here for my review because I nice didn't simple and didn't this even, is even simpler. Didn't even put my reverse. I put one reverse just because I like the hell this one looked. <laughs> All right, here we go with the Team James boy. Got the Suicune V, which is beautiful in its own right. Oh, that's gorgeous. Yeah, the Vaporeon V Max, which is also beautiful, and the Frost Last Gold Card. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. It's a little right heavy and but not bad. Oh, you know what I did notice though? It's crooked. Is it? Yeah, check it out. They did you dirty. It's like it's not the artwork is on the card crooked. Barely. It's like a three to five degree angle, but you can probably see I better think under I my see, light. I think I see it just a tad very minor but that's where all the centering issue is is yeah. because it's like that i think but but vaporeon vmax looks very good sweet coon is definitely right heavy but the vaporeon vmax is very nice and then my umbreon is just i don't see really any issues with the centering maybe just a tad so that is quite an ETB, I would say. Holy cow! At least one of them. Well, two more ETBs coming you, coming to you guys in the next video. So watch out for that one very shortly. And uh, if you were wondering whether to get Evolving Skies ETBs, the answer is no and yes. I guess. No and yes. How many can you buy? Because at some point your odds are really good, but apparently your odds are also not odds great. are better on the next one. Still, still going for the Umbreon and Rayquaza. That's the hunt. Two more. That's the hunt. Two more. So we'll see what comes up next. We might even get straight into filming those. This was, yeah, this was fun. All right. Well, this has been it for the first round of Evolving Skies ETVs. Like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more. My name is James. I'm Ulysses, and we'll catch you next time. Double XP out.